I got a fish holding on to it. Stick him. Oh my God. That's a huge fish. Welcome back to another video. It's been a little bit since uh, we fished. We had such bad weather. Today we're going to do the 5 over 20 inches challenge. Uh, something I just made up on the ride to the fishing ground. Uh, we will try to knock out five species of fish over 20 inches. No sharks, no stingrays, none of that stuff. Here it comes. Tune in. Enjoy. So how should I explain summer fishing here in North Carolina? It's tricky because you've got to really figure out what is the best target for the day. So what I mean by that, you have access to quite a few species in the summer. The bite for one could be really weak one day if they're not in that location. Um, or temperamental based on their, their feeding habits due to temperatures, uh, etc. Right now, inshore, we've got all five sheep's head, redfish, black drum, speckled trout, and flounder. Flounder season being closed. Uh, right now, early in the morning, I'm going to start with sheep's head and black drum uh, just because I like my tide. And then as uh, we get a little bit more of a moving tide, we're going to switch over to speckled trout uh, and redfish. So early sheep's head, black drum. I don't have good bait with me. I wasn't able to get any bait of my choice. I've got a couple mud crabs and I've got sand fleas. And sand fleas are like, eh. But sand fleas are better than nothing. Mix my mud crabs with my sand fleas, so it's not a matter if they're gonna kill them, it's when they're gonna kill them. Damn, two baits on there, nothing doing, huh? Not a good start by any means. Okay. Nice fish. Nice fish. I guess we got something for that challenge we're working on here. Man, very light hit. Let's see what it is. It's definitely a black drum of sorts. Nice one. Oh. Uh. Now these fish don't taste too bad. This one's a little bigger than I would keep um, in general. I'll give a quick measurement. Uh, talking about 25 inches, so yeah, probably about eight to 10 pounds, maybe a 12 pounder tops. So thank him for the fight. Let's send him on his way. Definitely an underrated fish for sure. All right, so what we're using for this fit, these fish here, um, the reel is a Spheros 4000 with 30 pound X, Berkley X9. It's got a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's a one ounce bottom sweeper in white. And I impaled two of these mud crabs on there because they're, they're pretty small. Um, it also just gives you a little extra leverage in case the, uh, in case the croakers are pounding away at your baits. So it's two smaller mud crabs are definitely ideal. I got those samples in there too, but I don't think that's really the bait I want to use. Um, crack their shells just a little bit to get some scent. Like I said, that black drum was a little too big to keep. And I'm probably not keeping much since I'm traveling this week. I got a fish holding on to it. Stick them. Oh my God, that's a huge fish. That's a huge fish. That's a huge fish. That's a huge fish. That's a good fish. Take me where you want me. All yours, buddy. That's him. Wherever you want to go, man. I know you got that lateral line to feel it. Feel it. Oh, no, no. Don't go there. Okay. 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 It's a huge drum. Huge drum. 
It wasn't even a bite. It's a huge drum. Yeah, it's good. Let's go out in the open. Enjoy. Enjoy our time together here. Stay away from that stuff, man. Okay. Okay, good. These fish are tough because they usually run into the structure. That's why I always find this kind of challenging because they do love structure. Oh, big nasty. Yeah, there he is. Big nasty. Huge black drum. Oh, that's a monstrous black drum. One ounce bottom sweeper jig. It was the ticket, man. It was definitely the ticket. He's got a nasty tail, man. These fish are tough. Gotta love them. What a tough fish you are. All right, man. Sometimes I find the big plunge does them better than the uh, the slow revival. So let's try it. Get that air out, you know? My goodness, we're covered in drum slime here. That's part of the game. It's the experience of the drum. All righty, let's try it again. It's kind of in this zone right here. Probably ch chummed a couple in, I'm guessing. I didn't even feel the hit of that fish. I like literally, literally lifted the rod and he was on there. So let's see if that happens again. Another one, huh? Oh, broke me off. That one broke me off, huh? That was a decent fish. Actually, I've been, I've been hunting that guy for a little bit. Uh, while that was not a total unit, it was probably like a 30 to 40 pounder. Um, good fish. Uh, Got to work a little harder for them in this region. Uh, Delaware Bay and Chesapeake Bay seem to be like the black drum hot spots on the northern part of the east coast. Here by me in uh, North Carolina, we get a couple, but it's not really a... Uh, you know full year thing um, they kind of blow by on the ocean and you get a couple that trickle into the bays and to get them in the bays you got to work for them uh, it's just a fish I think that's a lot of fun at least not as a kayak I like that vertical fight man they especially in that deep water they, they really chew, do try to to whoop you so uh tide's pumping good now so right now whew, that's cool <laughs> lost another one I think the other one was probably you know, another like 25 inch or something like that. That drag was tight because um, a lot of structure from breaking 40 pound leader. Yeah, it's really as tight as I want to go on the kayak. At a certain point, it gets a little sketchy. So uh, we're going to throw some lures now, see what we can catch. Probably going to go through a lot of tackle here. Uh, I've got this Bass Assassin uh, paddle tail. It's like a three inch, maybe a four inch. I'm going to lube it up with some Pro Cure Menhaden. Nice to brought my real light tackle. Uh, jigging rod. What is fairly clear, that's going to change. Any flounder? Interesting. What's that? Speaking of something good, I don't know what that is, but he's good. I think that's a drum. If that's a trout, he's gigantic. Drum. <laughs> if that was a trout, I'd be like, oh my gosh. Redfish. What's that? Yeah, I'm sure that they're scooting this whole area. They always move, man. They never sit still. That's a nice red. Probably about like 22, 23. 
Let's see. I'm trying to do five species over 20 inches today. Uh, I'm on the black drum for sure. I think I'm on the red now. A little puppy drum. Ah. Cause I got nothing better to do than to make up my own challenges and rules. He's probably like 19 to 20 times. Just a slot. Whoa! Will you give me 20 inches on that one? I know I can't get a great measurement for you. And he's like 20 on the button. If you guys want to be picky with me. What'd you get? Flounder? Little flounder? He's like 20 on the button, I know. We could be a little picky with that one. We'll see if we can upgrade him. I'm a big advocate for Procure Manhattan. Bunker. Pogi. Because that is the essential food source for everything on the East Coast. Getting a little bit of sun now. Every piling here has an eddy. So every piling could potentially hold a fish. That's really it in a nutshell. Yeah, I didn't have many. Got him. Get him out of there. Got me a flatty. Nice flatty. Come on. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. Too. Well, the season's closed on them, so that would be the fish I'd be keeping and putting in the freezer right now. Gosh, what a handful. Handful, handful. Chill, son. 18, 18 inches. Bummer. Not a bad fish, though. A decent little flounder over there. Uh, 18 inches. If that season was open, that would be what I was keeping. Um, we gotta put a jacket on. It's freezing. So, hang on. This is tough to throw hard baits here right now, though. It's the only thing. Early in the morning, probably. Let's see. We bent that hook out. Not on the flounder. See, when you start like twisting them up, these aren't great hooks. If they were in a bargain bin. I do like the design of the jig head, though. I like that eye. Everything about it is nice. But um, yeah, you start twisting these hooks up, forget it. So, I could throw away jigs because uh, I know more than likely I was going to snag them. Minimal interference fish, at least here, so take what I can get. I love that little. Big eye these things have. That's a nice little, yeah, things, things look good. I mean, we could sneak up underneath and start jigging underneath. Yeah, short drifting. Do more like the vertical jig style. Shark. Shark. You're just skimming along the surface? All right, so we have moved on from uh, flounder and redfish at the moment. It seems to be kind of slow. Fun goal, the five over 20. And uh, yeah, we're on one redfish that might have been just 20 on the button, right? I'd, I'd say he'd pass. And um, and uh, one, uh, of a couple of nice big, big black drum. But uh, yeah. All right, this is the this is still what we're working with for the sheep set, the half ounce bottom sweeper jig and the same setup. Can't catch a sheep set on a sand flea. Unfortunately, that one's gonna be under 20. It's like a 16, probably. Still fun. But we're shooting for 20 inch fish. But first sheep of the day is not a bad thing. Um, so that was pretty good. I tried to do my five fish over 20 inches. Did not pull that off. We didn't get a speckle trap. 
our flounder was 18 inches and our sheeps were like 16, 17. Uh, we got the red and the black drum basically. Uh, wind has switched to our direction to make a, a, a concerning direction to make it want to go home. So uh, I'm headed in now. You can check the video's description. Everything we used today, uh, redfish caught on small paddle tails, we threw gulps, we threw kind of like the assortment of small stuff. It wasn't really a hot artificial bite. Maybe early in the morning it might have been. Right now the bite kind of died down and we had a wind switch. So I'm going to call it and pull the plug. Uh, those black drum on the bottom sweeper jigs, one ounce. Uh, I think it's with a 3 0 hook on there, and I used mud crabs. Uh, like I said, any questions about the gear, just click on the links. Um, I'll have the reels and rods. Take the time to do all that. Um, if you like any of the gear, pick them up from the links that I use. Uh, that supports the channel. All right, let me organize the kayak, and uh, we'll catch up soon. It's a chilly out. Chilly. We need some real dirty water coming real soon. So, made the most of that one.